take a stroll past the jewelry counter at Target these days and you will see the hottest thing going right now is clay earrings, clay bracelets, clay accessories of any kind, all kinds. They're lightweight, they're really playful, obviously trendy, and we say the perfect project for crafting yourself or maybe with the little ladies in your life. A good starter project is a clay barrette, which is what we're doing today. Studio 5's creative contributor, Sam Spenlove, has the how-to. Great to see you. You too. I look at this and I say Play-Doh. Yes. Yes, please. Daughter of a kindergarten teacher. It's I have basically therapy. Mad respect for this. Therapy in action. Yes. Is that kind of what we're reaching for essentially? Totally. We love making things with our hands. It's good for you. It feels good. And yeah. these look good. And you can pay a pretty penny for these in Target or Boutiques and beyond. How much did it cost you to make a single barrette? Have you even done the math? I haven't, but I mean, we use this clay and maybe, let's see, what, like a fourth of it. So not much. Say a buck. A buck <laughs> is how much it costs. Did you freehand these patterns we're looking at with kind of the polka dots and the stripes? You can do some really fun things yeah, here. Yeah, it is so easy. You won't believe it. Okay, show us. Please Kay. show us. Okay, so let's start with the marble. So okay. we'll do this one, Brooke. You take... Which one? Oh, this one right yes, here? Yes, this one. Okay. So marbling is huge. Mm -hmm. um, there's pouring and all these fun things. Okay, so let me show you. What you're going to do is flatten the primary color. Does so for it... us, it's white. Okay. And then you're gonna take the secondary color and place it on top and kind of smash it together. And we should clarify, I joke about Play-Doh, this is not just any sculpting clay. No, we love this Sculpey Souffle. It okay. is nice, it bakes beautifully. Okay, so you just have it together like this. Then you're gonna pull and lay on top and pull oh. and lay on top. Yep, you got it, you're doing it. Really? And do it like three, four times. You just keep going, you're right, this is so yeah, satisfying. Yeah, you don't wanna mix it up too much because then you can just start to blend the colors. Okay. So then after you've layered it a couple times, Roll it into a ball. And I was gonna ask if you could do this marbling technique with any color, but the gray and the white aren't that too, aren't that contrasting, like so. No, doesn't it's have subtle, to be... so you could wear it as a neutral. Okay. So then if you want it a little more swirly, you could twist it a little bit. And then what you would do after you feel like you're as swirly as you want, okay. you just roll it out. Here, okay. try it with yours. <laughs> Look at you. And let's see how it looks. How do you shape these guys? You just roll it out. It's look like, at how pretty! Oh, that is See, pretty. look at this. So then you would just have it rolled out. And this is a trick I like to use if you don't have a pasta roller or a fancy thing to get it even. Yeah. To just put two pieces of cardboard on each side oh. and roll it until it's level with the cardboard. Okay, so, Sam, I can't get over how gorgeous that isn't is. Isn't that so pretty and it's, so easy? The colors just swirled. And it's fun yeah. to see how trends these days are kind of mimicking Mother Nature. Yes. With the, with the right? The yeah. marble and Terrazzo. the... Terrazzo. We love that. So after you have it rolled, you nice can cut even. it. Okay. And there are several ways you can do that. So we have cookie cutters that I just got these on Etsy. You could do a paper template with just an X-Acto knife here. Okay. Or you can use household items. This is a deodorant lid, <laughs> a perfume <laughs> lid, and just cut it. Ah. And then you'll bake it. So <laughs> breads are so fresh. Aren't they? <laughs> oh my God. Wow, that I'm was just really saying, good. No, I love the resourcefulness. You're looking in your yes. bathroom like, save money. That's a stencil yes. waiting to happen. Yes. Okay, okay, what's our next design? Next one, we're going to do the terrazzo. So, which is what? The black and white Cute. or this golden black one down Cute. on the bottom. Okay, so you roll out your primary color. That's our first step. Okay. Easy enough. Then you take your secondary color and you're going to roll it out like paper thin. Okay. So, just roll, roll, roll. This is looking good. Because the secondary color will be layering. Yep, so you roll it super thin, then you can take your knife, and I just like cut into it with random shapes like this, and I'll just pick them up and sit them on like this. And it's so random, you can't mess it up. So you'll just put a bunch on there. This is so fun. And put them on until you're happy. Little girls, then, granddaughters, they would go crazy for this little project. Right, and everyone can pick their own colors and mix, you could do this with a variety of colors too. Yeah. Then you'll just softly roll over this one to press it into it. And again, just cut it, bake it. With these, you bake them only 15 minutes in the oven at That's, 275. Okay, a little lower so, heat. Yep. Look how the corners, I mean, the edges just kind of melded yep. right in there. What's next? Next, we're gonna do this fun rainbow one. Kay. And this one right here is actually the same process. Okay. So what you do, roll out your primary color as we've done, mm -hmm. and then you'll take 
one of the colors you're gonna use. Why don't you do this one? Sure. And I'll do this one. And you're just gonna roll it into a skinny a string. Into a snake. As we say. <laughs> and you want it to be pretty thin because then you'll go over it to roll it again. Oh, okay. And that will flatten it out. So okay. just if you need to break some of it off. Oh, you're a pro. Look at me. Well, you're very me good. and the mud pies, you know, back in yes. the 1990s, oh. we You'd were You'd make friends. all the snakes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then after you've gotten it rolled out. Isn't it weird to see the 1990s where we're sitting in 2020? What? How old am I really? Oh my gosh, that okay. makes me sick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. Okay, so then you just arrange it on there okay. in the shape that you want. Okay. And you can do a rainbow, you can do the swirls like we did over here. So fun. Again, roll it to flatten it in, cut okay. it, bake it. This okay. is a great project, hands-on, therapeutic. <clears throat> You're gonna be posting more tutorials, more design inspiration on your website. Yes. Where can we follow along? Our blog is prettylifegirls.com or you can find us on Instagram at prettylifegirls. And can I tell you about something fun please, we have coming please. up? We have a fun workshop in South Jordan on February 5th. We're teaming up with our friend Lisa Childs we of Instant Pot Cooking. Yes. And we're doing a cheesecake and crafting, <clears throat> excuse me, Valentine workshop. Perfect combination. It's gonna be so fun. Okay. We have a $5 off code through Monday only. So okay. register at prettylifegirls.com. So get it. I have to ask you before we part, is there anything you do to finish this off? Yeah, so we use just like a gloss sealant. Okay. You just spray it, okay. or this is another fun thing you can do. It's, I got it just adds dimension. so excited about the snakes. I just forgot <laughs> to take it to the snakes. finish line. Thank you so much. Thank this was you. fun. We'll link you over to Pretty Life Girls, all of their platforms. You can get the scoop on the workshop and get details on this fun project.